Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the introduction of transport system management or travel demand management. So basically why we need them. Okay. So first of all, let us go through some problems. Okay. So then we will be moving on guys. Okay. So first let us go through the problems in our society, in our city simply. Okay. Yes. So traffic problems in our society or in city. Okay. Okay. So traffic congestion and traffic difficulties or parking difficulties. So traffic congestion in simple words, you can say that the traffic jams and the parking difficulties. So there is no proper place for ours for us to park. So that is nothing but the parking difficulties. Okay. So longer traveling hours due to this traffic reasons. Okay. So due to the traffic and parking reasons, your traveling journey is taking long time. Okay. Similarly, lack of a public transport. So there is no proper public transport for you. Similarly, loss of public space, etc. So there could be some loss of public space, right? Yes. So due to some parking and everything. So even the road, some part of it will be parked by vehicles, right? Yes. So in that way, there is a loss of that space. Similarly, high maintenance cost. So if someone wants to, sorry, if something bad happens with that particular road, the maintenance of the course of that particular part of the road will be a lot, right guys? Yes. Similarly, high maintenance cost, yes, that's what I was discussed, environmental impact and energy consumptions, okay. Similarly, we are also having a land consumptions and etc, etc. There are various problems you can say in simple words, okay. Let us continue. So, the factors influencing a traveling demand, okay. So, few of the factors which are affecting the traveling demand are location and intensity of land used, okay. Similarly, socio-economic characters of people living in that area similarly extended cost and quality of availability of transport okay so these are some factors which are influencing the traveling demand okay yes so now let us go through the important topic that is a transport system management okay transportation system management okay so now let us go through the definition then i'll be explaining it to you in my own words guys so tsm is a planning and operating process designed to conserve resources and energy and to improve the quality of urban life so here using this transport transportation system management we are planning to conserve the resources and energy and to improve the life of the people okay so all existing transportation facilities are needed as element of a single system the objective is to organize these elements into an efficient system Okay, so into an efficient system and integrate the transport system. Okay, yes. So here our goal is to maintain these systems in a proper way. Guys. So that is nothing but transport system management. Okay, yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the various types of transport system management like traffic management, transient management, demand management and all. Okay, yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.